This is a new user's guide to the Atomic Blocks plugin. I made this video for StudioPress users who have been using the widgetized homepage themes, but now they want to use the new block based homepage layouts. Things I'll be covering in this Atomic Blocks newbie tutorial. How do you get the blocks onto the page? Where do you find the settings for the blocks? The down arrows and why you must click them. If you can't select a block, use the block navigation button. I'll be showing you some live examples of blocks. And I've also made a list of atomic blocks. And I just want to remind you that the styling of the atomic blocks pages or blocks depends on your theme so different themes will be styled in slightly different ways now this is a newbie video it's for people who are new to using blocks but i do expect you to have some experience of using wordpress if you're a studio press customer you have a my studio press account and when you log in there where you would find your downloads and things but you can also watch some videos made by wp101 and they're very good videos, they, they teach you the basics of WordPress and I expect you to watch those videos and to have a reasonable understanding of how WordPress works. Let's get started. How do you get a block onto your page? Well the first thing, when you make a new page, you'll see this where it says start writing or choose a block. Now you can type a forward slash here and that will show you some commonly used blocks. You can also search if you know the name of a block you want to use. If I wanted to use the call to action block, just type a forward slash then, type in a text and it will open up or it will offer me the blocks that are relevant to what I've searched for. There are several other options though. If I hover over the side here, there's this add block. So I click that plus icon, I'm going to close that box and now I've got all the available options here and I'll be using the atomic blocks so I can open that one, click the down arrow, I'll keep telling you to click the down arrow uh, because it's easy to forget and that shows me all of the atomic blocks because there are loads of other blocks. WordPress has quite a lot of blocks built in but we'll be using the atomic blocks and then you just choose one from the list. So if I wanted to do a, a profile box, I could just click it and then I just add my information. Here I just type in. It's already set up for me. I want to get rid of that one. All I do, remove block. Now over here, we've got some of the blocks you've used recently. These will change slightly depending on which blocks you use most often. Uh, but you can just click those if you want to use them. That's a headline. So if I want to put a headline in there, I just click that one and it's a heading block. I'll remove that. So most of the time, what I would recommend, just hover over this text and then click the plus icon, close the most used box and then either choose a layout element, widgets, whatever, or I'll be using the atomic blocks. So I'll open that one and I can choose which block I want to insert into the page. I will insert a simple block for the sake of this tutorial and I'll use the testimonial block. Now, when you insert a block in a page, all you need to do now, where the cursor is flashing, I could just type some text in there. I can add a name here. And you can add a title, a job title, such as CEO, you could put the name of the company that Fred Smith works for. Anything like that, I'll just put CEO just to make it easy. Now the important point is above the block here you've got a toolbar and in the sidebar you've got more block settings. Make sure you open up all of the settings. 
so you can see all of the options you've got available and if your blocks not selected you won't see the options so you can't see the toolbar above this block and you can't see the options in the sidebar but when I select that block you can see the toolbar and you can see the options in the sidebar they've got to open up the tabs again adding more blocks to your page you can add a block above or below any block on your page supposing I wanted to add a block above this notice block I select the block then I click these three buttons one of the options is insert before and one is insert after I click insert before now I'm going to add a headline block but the easiest way to do that is to type my headline first so I just type my headline in here now because this is a text block and I want to change it to a headline block I can you there's a limited amount of things you can change one block to another so I'm going to change that to a heading I want it to be a h3 below the heading block I want to add a paragraph so I click this button again this three dot button I want to insert after the heading now there is no paragraph block so just type directly into the page if you want to have a paragraph of text and the important point to remember when a block is active click the three dots and then you can choose insert before or insert after now selecting your blocks most of the time is really easy you just click inside the block double click to select a word triple click to select a paragraph or if it's an image just click the image but sometimes you'll find it difficult to select the block you need and the time you're really going to notice this is when you're using containers or columns so if we find a container block this is a container block now selecting inside this would be difficult normally so I'll edit this page and we're going to use this button here it's called the block navigation button and what you can do you can just choose any of this the notice block if I click that I'm immediately editing this notice here if I clicked this testimonial it immediately takes me to the testimonial and if you look there's a toolbar at the top and this block settings in the sidebar is open now if we want to edit a columns or container block this is a, a layout built with a container and columns and it can be difficult especially if you set this to be full width see now it can be difficult to to get the settings because sometimes you'll find the settings are off to the side so what do we do I'm going to click inside this then I'm going to choose this block navigation and it's only showing us this container and if we click anywhere in there click the heading now we're ed editing the heading we click the block navigation button again I can choose the image um, but that block navigation button is really useful as you start to use more and more containers and columns you'll really find this is worth its weight in gold it's, it's a really good tool is that you'll only need this block navigation button when you're doing columns or container blocks so if you're wanting to edit say this drop cap you don't need it but if you want to edit columns or containers that's what you want to do and the best way to do it is if you scroll down your page find the col column or the container you want to use click anywhere inside it just to tell WordPress that you want to deal with this container or this column then click block navigation and it will open up just for that particular container or columns block I've made two pages you'll find useful 
One is a list of example blocks, so you can actually see what the blocks look like. And with each one, suppose you want to know more about this testimonial block, just click the button underneath and it takes you to a page that explains how the settings work. So that's a page of examples and there's all of the currently available atomic block blocks <laughs> uh, on this page. The accordion block, you want to see how that one works. Container block, call to action block, really nice block. I've also made a list of blocks and as you get used to how blocks work, you'll be able to come to this page that just lists the blocks, find one you want to make or put on your page, click that one and it'll take you to a page with the settings to explain how the settings work. And just before we go I'll remind you that the styling, especially for things like this pull quote, some of the styling of the blocks will be the same whichever theme you use, but some of them, like this pull quote, will change depending on which theme you're using. This styling is specific to the revolution theme, and whichever theme you're using, the pull quote will look slightly different, and some, some other blocks will too. Well that's it for this video, I've been using the Atomic Blocks plugin and I used the Studio Press theme Revolution. Thanks for watching and bye for now.